All right, good morning. It is an early start to the day. Not that early, 7.55 right now. Heading down straight for weigh-ins. Haven't been sleeping the greatest here, to be honest, but you know, try to get to bed. Oh, there's my alarm for seven. Weigh-in starts at 8 a.m. And then competition starts at 10 a.m. today. So for weigh-ins, we need to be under 231.4 pounds, 105 kgs. Just weighed myself in the room, 226.2. So we should be, should be good and should have plenty of room. Yeah, this is basically the part where we gotta get ourselves all set up. Equipment checks, weigh-ins, all that stuff. And then once all that's taken care of, we can actually focus on the meats. That's right, so all the other competitors kind of getting get themselves ready for weigh-ins and stuff down here, basically. So, and then we can actually get some food in, some water in. We'll have two hours till we start. So basically, um, I'm gonna pound down some carbs, pound down some electrolytes, water, get my system just going again. Cause I'm I'm down a good amount of weight, being 226 right now. Somehow I lost weight, six pounds overnight. So I got about like 12 more people before I weigh in. And I have a good amount of weight. Like I said, I'm at 226.2 with like no hoodie, no sweatpants on. Um, so I have some weight to gain. And I don't really want to sit down there and wait uh, doing nothing. So I have my G1M electrolytes and carbs in here. I'm kind of just sipping on this. I don't want to drink too, too much of that. I don't want to obviously end up being overweight, but we have a small little tiny breakfast that we got here. Just mostly carbs. Carbs, and then we have like this little um, peach, like whatever you call it, peach spread, jam kind of stuff. So just all carbs, all sugars, stuff like that. And uh, we can eat this real quick, head back down, get our weigh-ins in. Then, like I said, we'll pretty much be good to go. Lifting starts at 10 a.m. It is 8.16 right now, so we're kind of getting close, but I uh, need to get some food, get some water in me, and uh, I just want to weigh in already so I don't have to worry about it, and then can just focus on the competition. So not too much longer, um, get a little bit of calories in, fill out a little bit here. And uh, once this weigh-in's done, we'll just freaking pound the sugars, carbs, electrolytes, water, and uh, get ourselves ready and warmed up. So let's get it, man. It's good, so my name is good. I don't know how to do that. Yes, 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 you did. Oh, I need okay. All right, so just finished up weigh-ins. Uh, weighed in at 103.2, 103.2. So I need to eat some food like ASAP. Like I need to like just demolish some food. Where's uh, Niles? Cause I need some candy and stuff. I need to get some food in my system. I want to like fill out as much as possible. We're gonna get some water in, electrolytes in ASAP. And yeah, we're in the warm room right now. So we got squat rack right over here. Got this thing all set up. We're kind of getting ourselves set up here, but it is only 842. So we'll probably, you know, kind of start just getting ourselves warmed up a little bit and stuff. Like I'm probably not going to really start squatting until like, honestly, like 940 or something like that. So I'll probably get an hour until I actually start, you know, kind of getting, getting going with real squat warm up. So I might get some food in, try to go to the bathroom again. We put in our openers and everything like that, our rack heights, all that good stuff. So we're good to go on that. Get ourselves ready to go. It's gonna be a G1M time. Yummy. We're doing some little rice cakes with honey on it. Just gonna like slam a bunch of these. Well, as much as we can for the next like 30 minutes. I'm like so underweight. <laughs> I might as well eat, you know? Honey. Um, our boy from the Texas team, um, he's out here for USA. Um, he got these little chocolate milks from the store, so we're gonna do one of those. Uh, 1.5 scoops of the G1M sets carbs and electrolytes. Um, doing that in there, but it's it's fill up time. It's almost game time. Like I said, about an hour till we really like, no, less than an hour till we like start freaking squatting and start going. 9.30, man, probably. You think 9.30? Yeah, I think 9.30, 9.40. I think we got a little bit of time. I might run back up there in a second and just like make sure I got everything. Like I have everything in my bag, but uh, run back up to the room, like change, like maybe try and take another poop real quick. You know what I mean? So before I start taking caffeine and all that stuff, but we said carbs right now, no one else is down here. People still waiting and kind of getting like chilling a little bit, but one hour and 10 minutes till the meat begins. All right, so I've eaten through like almost this whole bag right now, which this thing's like 770 calories um, of almost straight carbs. So. We did almost a whole bag of that. We did honey on most of those. So Jared's warming up real quick right here. Um, so I think they're doing all the 93 kgs first. Uh, so they'll do one, two, three squats, then 105s will go, one, two, three squats. So I'll be like the second flight basically. So we still have a little bit of time. 
um, before we really need to start warming up. These guys are gonna go first. Um, but in the meantime, we're gonna take a couple of these Advil ibuprofen. I think I'm gonna take three right now. I might take two more before I um, before I start really squatting and stuff like that, but kind of let it start working in my system a little bit. Overall, I feel good today. Overall, I feel really good, but you know, it's like back pain. Um, I've been getting some little tiny, you know, bit of uh, tenderness in my knees and stuff like that. So, you know, just take this, make sure we're nice and warmed up properly. But we'll start off with three of those. I'm not advising you guys to take these all the time, but um, it does help in certain situations. And so, it is legal. <laughs> yeah, it is legal. So, three Advil, pick those. So we got that, we're good to go. It is 9.43 a.m. right now. These guys are supposed to go on at 10 a.m. Like I said, it might take 20 to 30 minutes for them to go through their whole squats. I think there's like 22 lifters total in the morning session now. So it'll probably be close to like 10 and 10 each. I think I have like nine in my weight class or something like that. So it'll take some time for them to get through it. But I'll give you this media pass, Kyle. You flip it around. Thank you. Feeling good. Feel as good as I can be, honestly, for being out of Turkey. I feel like I'm pretty well adjusted right now. And uh, the the mood for the day is let's just go have some fun. Let's execute everything properly, have some fun. And uh, at the end of the day, we're out with all, you know, most of my freaking powerlifting buddies out here halfway across the world. Like, we're just gonna enjoy this, um, soak it in, have a good time out there, and then get to explore, you know, Turkey for the next couple of days and uh, have a good time. So that's where we're at, man. Five and 35 pounds first attempt. That's obviously, it's not the best I've ever hit. It's not the best opener I've ever had, uh, weight wise, but felt good. Things are moving, body feels good so far. We're taking a, a decent jump up. First one's out of the way, calm the nerves a little bit. We're ready to go. Two more attempts to get this thing. Keep pushing that weight up. Let's take everything we can get. Let's go. Squats in, second one, I think I honestly like went a little too deep, lost a little bit of tension at the bottom, it wasn't as tight as I could have been. Um, and then it kind of it, it kind of hurt me a little bit trying to get out of the hole. So I think um, we'll try and stay a little tighter this time. Better form, stay solid with it. Maybe not go quite as deep. And uh, let's, let's nail this last one. Let's just finish this up. Squats, 30 times. Let's get it, everything we got right here. You know, no point in saving anything else. Every last ounce of energy goes into this squat. Let's finish this thing up and we're on the, on the bench. So let's get this and uh, correct, correct what needs to be corrected. So, 584, this should be opener weight, bro. Let's make a move. Good luck. Myself, but we're good. We're good. Snuck its way back up, and uh, 
<laughs> three attempts in, three attempts in the bag. Second attempt worried me a little bit, but like I knew I had it in the tank. I literally hit yeah. 584 two days ago, and I knew I had it, and I actually moved better than the 584 two days ago, so I'm happy with that. Oh, yeah, so cool. I felt good, so three for three and squat. Let's get ourselves a little bit of carbs in the system, a little bit of electrolytes, get ourselves ready for bench here, man. Oh, that felt good. Feel real good, I got some energy going into it. Feeling good so far. Let's get it, come on. in my opinion. Try and gain back here. Work our way back. Let's keep it. Perfect execution. That one felt real good. And uh, yeah, man, pause didn't feel too long or anything. Felt nice. Very in control. So let's keep that going. Keep this energy. Let's get, now we get the first one out of the way. Let's build some energy and take whatever weight we can get. I feel like honestly, I wasn't like explosive. It was, it was, it was, it, yeah. it was kind of like your setup wasn't great. So you well, the guy kind of fucked me uh, yeah, up at the beginning, yeah, exactly. but like, so you, make sure he knows. You got it. Yeah, yeah. Make sure he knows. Second one, lift off got a little bit messed up at the beginning, but um, okay, correction needs to be corrected. I'm gonna tell him exactly how my lift again at the beginning. Uh, tell him how I want it, and then uh, just focus on pressing back and up over my head. <laughs> System, more electrolytes. The plan on deadlift is to kind of warm up early here, see how things are feeling. If it's feeling good, we might bump things up, bump the opener up. Two days ago was the best deadlift day I had yet, um, and I, you know, like I said, didn't deadlift for like 12 weeks during my bodybuilding prep, so I'm really just starting from scratch. And uh, things felt really good two days ago, better than they felt in the past four weeks. So warm up early, see how things are feeling, and then adjust. If we can go higher, absolutely down to go higher for uh, deadlift here. We need to come back. We need to come back so far so good, yeah. but deadlifts, we need, we need a big pull here. Let's make it happen, dude. Let's make it happen. That's all it is. That's all it is. Come on. Worried about the back a little tiny bit, but we're gonna go 600 here. That was like 573, I believe. Let's uh, let's hit this, make it move, and then we'll adjust from there based on how I'm feeling. So we have, but let's let's make sure we get this next one. 100%. Good technique. Lock it. Last deadlift, last lift of the whole entire meet. We're eight for eight right now. Need to hit this one. And uh, this is the most I've deadlifted in like three, four plus months. And um, I'm excited for it, man. This is gonna be, <laughs> it's gonna be something. Let's go pull some weight, get tight. Finish this thing off, bro, come on. 
go Ryan! Try now, try! Last week I was hitting 540. This week we hit like 623. Dude, just add us. Add 80 pounds in a week. See what happens, man. No, it's it's been a while since I pulled a lot on deadlift, and that's not the best I've ever pulled. Obviously, I pulled 700. I pulled 672 last comp, but that feels freaking good to hit that. After kind of coming off back injury, coming off a bodybuilding show, not deadlifting for three months straight, not deadlifting at all, and um, that feels really freaking good. So I think it was like 623. Leave, something like that so um yeah man did did absolutely the best that i could have asked for just came in and the, the focus of today was just execute you know and you did nine for nine a lot of people have been failing their lifts and stuff like that i want to come in execute hit all my lifts and uh that's exactly what we did so we can take that i mean it's like look i'm not getting to get first place today it might not get second third fourth whatever but I'll freaking take that, you know. Best meet performance I possibly could have done, in my personal opinion, coming off of a show. Four weeks of prep for this thing. And uh, had a lot of fun. And uh, great having the whole team out here and everything, man. It's been freaking insane. So I'll take that thing, dude. We, that was come in, execute, and uh, very happy with my performance. So let's go. Third place, Ryan Stangler, Ohio State University.